Ho 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 ho! Ah! To quote Austin Powers, Did, did you, you soil, soil yourself? yourself? <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And today on Cars and Cameras, Ike found a vintage mini bike honey hole. He picked up six mini bikes and a whole bunch of parts uh, for about a thousand dollars. Yep. Uh, just by replying to an ad on Facebook Marketplace looking for a Honda Z50 fuel tank. So they're sitting outside in the back of his truck. Let's have a look and see what we can get running. So when I open the door, I'm going to see whatever you buy. Yeah. Oh, a mini. Is that a Bonanza? I don't know. Oh, dude. Bikes on bikes on bikes. Oh, those wheels are... They're cool. They're they're pretty rusty. Oh, they need some repair. Rotten, man. Um, CT70 wheels. It's a C CT70 rim. He was just going to throw it away. With a tire? Okay. Yeah. I mean, yep. if it's not rotten out, dude, that's, uh, that's money right there. Yeah. I mean, that's better than the some, one that Charles of... rode to West Virginia on. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Uh, oh, I love these uh, types of wheels here. Yep. Those spokes. And that red bike is mint. So, this mini bike was 40 bucks. Uh, the blue one was 40 bucks. The uh, Scat Cat model AYT 660. It's called a Scat Cat. Yeah, it was 100 bucks. Nice. And it it the spoke it's rims really cool. yeah the spoke rims belong to it nope. look at the rear fender on it on the scat cat yeah the chrome yeah the chrome strip on it oh yeah it's pretty sweet isn't it that is cool think that was there from the factory i don't know if it wasn't it's going to be there for now it on. works it looks good. yeah it looks so good well dude let's unload these guys and get a better look at them yeah so all six mini bikes are unloaded we have all different years, all different makes, all different models, in various states of disrepair. I copped on this uh, 1980 Z50R. It's the most complete, and we're gonna see if it'll run right off the bat. But our goal in this episode is, well, how many of these can we get to run? I'm gonna say two, because only two have engines. Oh, there's the third one right there. Oh yeah, Craftsman 172. We checked the oil on this bike. It looks like it has a aftermarket 125 life in or something. Yeah, well, so 125, let's see. Uh-oh. Might be flooded. I like your exhaust. Yeah, isn't it nice? Well, probably should check the uh, spark plug real quick I think it's flooded oh yeah it's flooded that was my fault well, let's let it air out man make sure it's got some spark okay ready yeah I don't see any spark, spark I don't see any spark who wants to be brave enough to grab hold of it I got it there's no nothing spark. there chief Smells like old oh, gas. I got, I got spark now. Oh. The switch is backwards. Well, do it. Check it out. Oh yeah, there's spark. spark. You know, I saw something on uh, online the other day about that. How some of these are coming in, the, you know, new switches with these engines are coming in backwards. Really? On is off and off is on. Well, that's a tech tip for you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, something dripping. Is this fuel or water? Water. It's water. Stinky water.
We should totally get this fixed before we mess something up. Definitely. Yeah. But dude, that is extremely promising. Yeah. I really like the look of that bike too. With the uh, side exhaust? Yeah, the side exhaust, dude, the orange, the uh, the front plate there means business. Uh, carburetor work on this one. Let's check out the others. All right. All right, man, tell us a little bit about these mini bikes. All right, dude, let me tell you, don't laugh. I was sitting on the throne yesterday morning. Uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, I was going through there looking for fuel tanks for our latest build. In the throne room? In the throne room. That's where I do all my work. <laughs> so uh, I see this gas tank that we need, get in contact with the guy, and uh, long story short, I show up at his house, and bam, here's all these bikes, which he was willing to sell. So we stroke up a, a, a not stroke up a deal. We struck up a struck deal. up a deal. Thank you very much. And uh, they're all here. By the way, he's a subscriber. Thank you, Carly. So, what you think, bruh? I think they look good, man. They're awesome. So we know we have three Z50s, a Scat Cat, and then two unknowns. This one right here is awesome, but the wheels, the wheels are really cool, but they're in horrible shape. I mean, look, look at the rust hole. So we're gonna try to fix them in a future episode and get that bike going. I love the look of it. In the middle here, we have a Scat Cat, AYT660. Need to do more research on these bikes, but all three of these minis are like really cool in their own way. And then we have the Z50 we already got running. We have the Z50R that was mostly restored. It just needs wheels and it's clean as a whistle, man. It is beautiful. And then we have this 1971 stiff chassis uh, Z50. So uh, a lot of good projects here. I can't wait to get every single one of them running and riding. Uh, this is a good couple of months worth of content here, man. Yeah, dude, yeah. Uh, so, can't wait. Lots of different mini bikes here. We're gonna start by getting old orange there, running and riding just a little bit better. Almost can't fit through with the exhaust. The exhaust. Like All right, man. Let's get to the bottom of this bike. All right. We might have a ripper. Maybe. So what's first, man? Uh, I'm gonna take the carburetor off. Whoa, dude. I think that carburetor is a 4A50. Yeah, doesn't that look like it's 450? Yeah, it sure does. That could be a real issue here. I don't know, man. I don't think it's 450. Oh, no. no, it's not 450. 50, yeah. you can't even put your pinky in. Yeah, that one. My mistake, man, my mistake. That was a good thought. Yeah. That's still pretty small. Yeah, it is. So, it's gonna need fresh fuel. Might as well uh, drop the carburetor bowl and see what kind of shape it's in. Just turned on the fuel, and the uh, there's a lot of trash. A lot of garbage. Carburetor. So that should be off. Let's see. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I was wrong. Oh, that's that seems a little dinky. Smells terrible. We've never had one of these before. Oh, that's interesting. You know what this is? This, I, I bet you, I'm not sure yet. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Look, it lowers. Oh, that's really clever. Piece. Yeah. It's not just a flap, it lowers. Uh, interesting. Yeah, the choke. There's water in it. Check it out. So, oh yeah, look at those bubbles. Look how much water's in there. It is half full of water. Well, let's dump it, man. You might be able to see it better on camera out here, but you can see there's a, a line. Check out close to the front of the bowl there. You can see two layers. There's a layer of water and a layer of fuel. So that'll definitely impede running. Sure would. Plus that little itty bitty jet. We gotta fix that. 
Look, it's water and gas coming out. When it gets chunking, it's, the water comes out at a different, um, how do I? Well, they're different viscosities, right? Viscosity, yeah. It comes out like thicker than gasoline. It's crazy, you can see it come down the fuel line. Yep. So, dude, I just have a craving to, uh, should I leave the jet alone? One size. One size, though. Good thing. <laughs> we know that these 125s can take a larger carburetor than what's on here, so we're just going to drill out the jet just one size to give it just a little bit more fuel, maybe a little more performance. There we go. Sure you we can't go two sizes more? Let's leave it at one, man. Ah, you're, you're right. There's a little bit of fuel in there. <laughs> a little bit of fuel with that water? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's put let's the see. cap on and watch it separate. Actually, there's probably plenty in it. There we go. Look at the level. It's a lot of water. That is a whole lot of water there. So our jet's drilled, and uh, Ike is checking to see if the idle circuit is cleared while he's in there. I think this is the idle circuit. <laughs> and uh, I'm uh, going to clean up this fuel cap. So the reason it had so much water in it is because this was just open to the elements, and water could get in right through the top. So you're supposed to have a piece of fuel line on the cap there running. Uh, sometimes they go into this nut here. Can't do it on this one now. Uh, but we need to do a little bit more than that because uh, uh, this top piece is just loose and water can still seep in right there. So I'm going to clean it, silicone around the bottom of it there, then put the fuel line on it, and uh, we should be good to go. All right, so we're pulling the intake off because it looks like the gasket has been blown out. Uh, I think the bolt stripped out. Uh-oh. We're going to have bigger problems if uh, the bolt's stripped. I'm pretty sure that it's leaking bad. So if it's, big old vacuum If it's leak. got a big old vacuum leak, it's not going to run right. It just pulled off. It just pulled off. Yeah. Look, look there's like no, no gasket. Huge vacuum leak there. All right, and but we have a, a real big problem here because it's uh, completely stripped out. Well, we can drill it and tap it. Let me just try a longer bolt. And uh, see if I can get more in there. So in a pinch, if you don't have a gasket like us, you can cut out a gasket using an old box which is what we've done here. I like saving uh, a lot of our old packages with the thin cardboard without the uh, No corrugation. No corrugation. Make great gaskets, guys. This one is stripped out too, dude. So I'm gonna try to find a longer bolt for this one. So, let's see if we can get it to Mm. All right. The biggest problem we have here is the fuel tank. As usual. Yeah. With these bigger engines, they do not like the intakes where they are. So, gosh, darn it. So I got to try to find a clever way to route the throttle cable. A more convenient way. We'll try it right there. And uh, just gonna keep my fingers crossed. We got the carburetor installed. We got some fuel in it. You ready to see what happens? Let's see what happens. Cool. Choke on.
It says it's off, which means it's going. <laughs> I mean, it seems like a sweet mini bike, man. Uh, yeah, it needs some. It definitely needs some help. So, six bikes. This was basically under two hundred dollars, which is, I mean, an incredible deal. Yeah, yeah, it is. It needs work, but I mean, it, it's a Z50. It needs a lot of work, yeah. but it's it's worth it. I like the idea of having a bike like this because I'm gonna want to go through it all anyways and then I'm gonna know what I got. So that really nice one over there, we're gonna go all the way through on that one too to make sure everything's okay. Right. Well, let's see if it runs. All right. Good. So we still need to do a hot lap and a burnout with the uh, old orange over there. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna see if we have any spark on uh, this red one. All right. Um, I already know that there's no oil in it, so we're gonna go ahead and top up the oil. We don't wanna spin it over with no oil in it. So here we go. And this looks to be another clone engine. It is a 108 cc, which sometimes they round up to 110. Sometimes they round them up to 125. Oh, it's an electric start. Yep. Look at that. The engine has uh, one bolt up top and one bolt with no nut uh, on the side. Testing purposes, folks. You ready? I'm ready. Dude, it's sparking. Is it? Yeah. 
Oh, that's sweet. Now I'm gonna put the plug in and I'm gonna put a little bit of gas in the intake. Cool. See if it goes broom. Oh yeah, right there, dude. Yep. Right in the intake. So we have the coil hooked up. I have it grounded. I'm gonna squirt a little bit of a... <laughs> Starting fluid. Brake clean in there and we're gonna kick it over. It runs! <laughs> Dude, that engine is really just flopping around in there. Yeah. Two runners, bud. All right. Two for two. So now that we've heard our red Z50R crank over, even without a carburetor, it's time to do a hot lap on our 125 orange Z50. But first, a word from our sponsor, GoPowerSports.com. If you're working on an old mini bike or an old pit bike or an old go-kart, GoPowerSports.com can hook you up with literally everything you need to uh, put one of these old bikes together. We're gonna be building a custom full suspension mini bike very, very soon, and they sent us all these parts to help us complete our build, including these uh, really cool Monster Moto uh, front forks that actually have uh, shocks. Go Power Sports can hook you up from A to Z on your old mini bike projects. I mean, look, they have peg covers, they have kickstands, they have kill switches, literally everything you could need. So you can check these parts out at links in the description of this video. And remember that anytime you place an order with gopowersports.com, let them know that Cars and Cameras sent you a checkout. So it's time for a hot lap. I'm warning you. It's already, it's still muddy back there. Yep. So I'm gonna try to avoid the road. So there's gonna be a little bit off-roading. Okay. Okay. It, Z50 is built for it, man. Yeah. See you at the start line. That exhaust is something else. I think I need to go for a warm up lap. Warm up lap? Yeah. That sounds good. Alright, I'll be right back. Let's do the uh, warm up Grand Prix lap. Okay. Alright, nature people of the internet, what kind of print is that? Looks like a dog. Looks like a coyote? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I might need to do a little bleep in there, John. <laughs> Buddy, I gotta say, from what I saw, that looked awful. <laughs> You're gonna have to do some bleeping out. Really? I did a 180 on this thing and kept it up. Where? The downhill at uh, Pathfinder Pass. Yeah. I started going downhill. Uh huh. The bike did a 180 on that hill. Nice. And I managed to keep the bike up. <laughs> Impressive. With some explicit words so you ready for a warm lap dude you look pretty ready to me i guarantee you the uh wow it's muddy wow i'm muddy it's gonna be a pretty slow lap that's fine dude all right gotta get up gotta get her up on the board yeah are you ready <laughs> on your mark get set a go
One thing I have learned in my years of wrenching on small vehicles is that 10 inch wheels usually don't fare too well in deep mud. Ah! Ah! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yes. Wow, our cross cart would be done about now. I bet you he's not even halfway done. Off-road, off-road, off-road. I need to take this thing off-road. Uh, there we go. No, it needs to be more off-road. Uh, there we go. Yes. Oh! No rear brakes. I gotta get that fixed. Across the line with a 208. Ho, 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 ho. Uh. To quote Austin Powers, did, did you, you soil, soil yourself? yourself? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that is a mess, buddy. That was awful. I, I should have adjusted the rear brakes. I went for the rear brakes and it went to the ground. Nothing. Yeah. Yikes. So all you have is front brakes and it's pure mud out there? Dude. Danger. It just seems to keep getting worse. Yeah. It's Can't uh, wait for spring. It's slick as ice out there. Seriously. All I'm doing is skating this thing. I feel like I'm going downhill at snowshoes. <laughs> well, let's put your time up on the board, man. Let's see how, uh, let's see if you can beat a tractor. <laughs> I'm a little unsure about that. <laughs> All right, my friend, you ready to hear your lap time and where it lands on the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix leaderboard? Let me just go ahead and move this. Yep, move the trophy cart. Yep. Down there. Yep. Your time was on the 125 Z50R a two. What? <laughs> That's slower than the last Z50. It, it was a 208.46. Wow, that is embarrassing. Second to the slowest. So it's just in front of the Kubota. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it goes to show, man, weather and, well, carburetor has everything to do with how a bike will perform. Well, I, I would, the, the biggest thing is the mud. The yeah. biggest thing. Yeah. Because I cannot get over jogging speed with that thing. Yeah, it shows. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah. I guess I'll put this back. Yeah, trophy cart. Which we still need to get a good lap on the trophy cart, but it's been so wet, we can't. It's more than wet. It is a... Uh, how do you spell diarrhea? D-I-A. D-I-A. R-R-H-E-A? That'll get the point across. Diarrhea mud. Ike had diarrhea and still ran a one or a two oh eight. Dude, you'll Congrats. love the video footage of me uh, doing a one eighty with the bike. I thought I was gonna eat it. Yeah. Thanks for tuning into this episode, everybody. We are hoping we're gonna turn the corner pretty soon here with the whole weather thing, and we can get to running some real hot laps again soon. Uh, but until then, subscribe to Cars and Cameras for more updates on this haul of mini bikes Ike just bought. Let us know in the comments which one do you want to see us build first and what should we do with it. I really like the five spoke wheel one upstairs. It's just got a cool rake, cool frame design, and the wheel's really sweet as well. Yeah, someone mentioned on Instagram that they had some wheels. Oh, yeah? For that bike. So okay. A message from the back. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Might be able to get some. Uh, some factory wheels which would be sweet yep. uh anyway facebook at cars and cameras reviews and instagram at john underscore cars and cameras to see sneak peeks on what we are building behind the scenes it might be a mini bike it might be cutting out a metal sign with guns and roses it might be building a podcast studio you never know until you follow us 
Uh, check Ike out at Isaac It'll Be Fine on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, of course, visit GoPowerSports.com for all your mini bike and go-kart and power sport needs and let them know that Cars and Cameras sent you anytime you place an order. And finally, if you want to help support our future uh, builds and our channel in general, there it is. Pick up one of our t-shirts at cars-cameras.com. If you want us to sign something, just let us know in the order notes and we will gladly uh, sign something for birthdays uh, or whatever you might want. So anyway, thanks for watching again. We'll catch you next time. That's a clean bike. That's gonna make a really nice bike when yeah, it's it finished is. up. This one ain't gonna see the mud. No, sir. I dare say it's cleaner than uh, my beloved. I don't know, it's about the same in my eyes.